we want to be able to predict the charge on elements. So if we recall, every element wants to be happy. And in order to be happy, they have to have what kind of a configuration? Well, they have to look like a noble gas. So if we take that into consideration, then if I'm looking at lithium, I find it on the periodic table, how far away is it to get to a noble gas? Well, I have to go back one place in order for it to look like helium. So that means that I went one place, so that means it's going to be Li plus 1. Now, how do you know if it's a positive or a negative? If you go backwards, it's positive. If you go forwards, it's negative. The other way to remember it is if it's a metal, it's positive. If it's a non-metal, it's automatically negative. So if we look at aluminum, you find aluminum on the periodic table. It is a metal, so we're going to go to the left how many places? We're going to go to the left three places. So this would become Al plus 3 or Al 3 plus, depending on what your instructor wants you to do. So let's look at P. If I look at P, I know it's a non-metal, so I already know it's going to have to have a negative exponent, a negative charge. And now I just need to know how far to the right do I have to count. Well, I have to count three places to get to the nearest noble gas. And finally, I've got chlorine, and it is, on, you know, it's automatically going to be a negative charge, right? Because it is a non-metal. And how far do I have to go to the right? I have to go one place, so this can be a minus one, or you can just write Cl minus.